Morning. This is SCCR H class 223 Hornby model R3648. Part of the Hornby Collectors Club. I got this for a hundred and quid November 2019 at Warley when I joined their Collectors Club. Which isn't really a bad price I don't think. There's only one on for sale on eBay at the moment. That's £169 and that's off the 15th of November 2020. Anyway, in real life they were built between 1904 and 1915, 73 built and there is only one left. I'm just hoping you can appreciate the detail of this loco. I've put double O figures in this, I looked at HO but they were too small. So I put double O figures in this and I've put coal in it. And as I said, if you can watch this on a 4K widescreen TV, you will see the detail. It really is a sight to behold. Thank you for watching. Before we show you the model running, here's the real one at the Bluebell Railway last year. The slow speed running of this is pretty good. And I hope you can hear it's pretty quiet. Okay, this is the uh, sidings test. And I love doing this because people say you can't run locos slowly in analogue and you've no control and I'm really running this as slowly as I possibly can and it's going over Pico Insul Frog points and let's bring it forward And it's very quiet this. Uh, without wishing to sound repetitive, which I know I am, insult frog points aren't any good. Yeah. But this loco is absolutely superb. It really is. It really is, it's really quiet. I'm running it at stupid slow as you can see.
and this is all analog it's a gauge master PCU now I'm using model 100m on this O gauge transformer 2 amp and you can see this loco is sublime sidings test radius 2 curved radius 2 curved radius 2 curved Y point and back we go like a bit of a jolt there let's have a look no, my eyes. No, it's absolutely fine. As you can see, easy. All these bird cage carriages are backmen. There's a slight slope here. Okay, well you'll see here it's going to be approaching a slight slope, just a slight slope, and you see everything slow down. Now bear in mind, if you're asking this loco to pull five carriages up a slope to a bridge,
this loco does find pulling five of these bird cage carriages heavy going. You can hear the wheels skidding now. I've reduced the carriages to three to make it a lot easier for it and it does run a lot better with three carriages. Here's a panoramic view of this loco running around the war loop, as we call it, because of the World War I station. Smashing loco, loads of detail, but it doesn't have much pulling power, as you saw. It's fine with three birdcage carriages. It's smooth, it runs well, it deals with all types of track. I don't know what these pulled back in the day. Was it two, three, four carriages, five? I don't know but it doesn't pull much, which does surprise me. However, it's quiet, the motor's quiet, it's beautifully detailed, and I think it runs really, really nice. Thank you for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed this video showing this locomotive run. Thank you. Actually, what I do is I just speed it up a bit, just to show you what it runs like a little bit faster. And as you would expect, it's absolutely fine. Thank you for watching.